Hello there. Today we're going to talk about how we can customize some of the standard financial reports that exist in SAGE 100. SAGE 100 offers some base reports. They offer a balance sheet, a cash flow statement, and an income statement. None of these reports can be specifically modified, but in order to make some changes, what we can do is we can actually create a new financial report. So if we get into the financial reports and select new financial report, we're going to walk through a wizard that's going to allow us to create some settings that are different than the standards. We'll follow the wizard here through next and it asks for a report name. In this case, we're just going to call it test, but you may call it whatever is convenient. There are various types of reports that we can customize. Uh, there's an income statement, there's a quarterly statement. We can customize the balance sheet. There's a choice here called a trend report, and then we can also customize the statement of cash flows. For an example today, I'm going to customize an income statement. So I'm going to go ahead and modify the report title. And if we want, we can leave the report in the standard group, which is where all of the initial reports live. Or if we want to create our own group, we can give it a name and segregate it from the other reports. What type of income statement? Well, we can do a combined statement or a combined summary, or we can do a report specifically by segments on our GL chart, which might be something like a department or a location, depending on how your chart of accounts is defined. I'm going to work with the combined statement here today. How do we want to see the report? What kind of data? Well, we've got a lot of choices here. Uh, we can look at actual and percentages, we can look at budgets, we can look at variances, we can look at um, current and prior years. So lots of different choices here for what we want to present. I'm gonna actually pick the actual and the prior period variance and variance percentage report. How do we want this to appear? Do we want it just to be for the period to date only or do we want it to be year to date only? or maybe we want it to be both period and year to date with all of the respective comparisons. We can ask for specific um, views of how we want to see this. Do we want any decimal places? Do we want to separate our dollars with um, commas for the thousands? Do we want to do something special with the negatives? whether we want them in parentheses or if we want a prefix or a suffix. Do we want to do any rounding? Do we want to show the currency symbols and so on? On this report, we have the ability to print the general ledger account numbers and we can choose whether or not we want to display accounts with a zero balance. Footnotes are often used, um, especially for managerial or internal financial reports. We can add footnotes on certain pages. We can center the footnote text. We can allow that footnote to be edited when we run it. Again, these are all up to you how you want these reports to be displayed. And if we want to be able to select specific account ranges, or maybe we want specific main segments, or if we want to be able to do this at the time that we run the report, we can set these options up as well. When we're done with the wizard, we actually get the opportunity to go ahead and generate the report, or we can just save the wizard and come back and run it at our discretion. I'm gonna go ahead and print this report at this point in time. And we can now see, once we select the date range for this, what this report will actually look like. As that report has generated, we can see that we're going to have an income statement with period to date and prior period, what the variance is for that period, and then we've got year to date and prior year to date along with those respective variances. So as you can see, in just a matter of a few minutes, you can change the look of the financial statements and add other things to it, including different columns and the 
comparison between current year and prior period or the difference between the actual activity and the budget without a lot of difficulty. If you need more extensive customization capabilities, we will have to look at other tools for that, one of which might be Sage Intelligence, another one which could be something like F9. Um, all of these things are accessible and can help you customize your financial statements for what you need.